Eric Ten Hag introduces new rule change at Manchester United. Eric Ten Hag continues to impose his authority at Man United as the club maximizes their new nutritional strategy. Manchester United players are leaving the club's Carrington training complex later now as they are kept in for lunchtime meals. United are maximizing their recently refurbished canteen and new head chef Omar Mezian as part of manager Eric Ten Hag's nutritional drive. Ten Hag identified nutrition as one of the three key areas United were flagging in when he took over in May 2022 and Mezian was hired from the Football Association earlier this year. United players are now leaving Carrington at around 2 p.m. when they were previously free to depart at lunchtime. Many would often dine in restaurants in nearby Hale or Alderley Edge, but restaurateurs in Cheshire's Golden Triangle have complained at the sudden absence of United players in the villages during daytime. None of the United players have grumbled about Ten Hag's tweak to their training schedule. Ed Leng was promoted to the head of physical performance in March after spending nearly four years as United's lead sports scientist, and United made modifications to their nutritional analysis at the start of their pre-season tour of the United States in July. Players started to wear continuous blood glucose monitors to study their individual nutrition strategy on match day, as well as sweat patches to analyze their hydration levels. United staff have backed Ten Hag unequivocally with a football-first strategy which has involved changing the home dugout at Old Trafford, the restoration of the players' lone gate at the stadium, a tiered briefing room at Carrington, and additional developments at the training ground, again and again. You can ask yourself why Anthony Martial left Manchester United training ground. After five minutes arrived, Anthony Martial arrived at Man United's training ground just before 9 a.m., but left five minutes later. Anthony Martial left Manchester United's Carrington training complex as he arrived at the wrong time. Eyewitnesses have told the Manchester Evening News Martial turned up at Carrington at 8.56 a.m. and left at 9 a.m. on Thursday morning after he was informed training was later in the day. United players reported for training on Monday at 12.30 p.m., but were due in on Tuesday at 9 a.m. United players started arriving at 11.30 a.m., and Marshall returned at 12.23 p.m. So, Marshall started the last two games against Nottingham Forest and Arsenal, but failed to score and was substituted in both. The 27-year-old is likely to make way for new £72 million striker Rasmus Hoylund, who could make his full United debut against Brighton at Old Trafford on Saturday. Marshall has scored 17 goals for United in the last three years and has not completed 90 minutes in a Premier League match since the home defeat to Sheffield United in January 2021. United were open to selling Marshall in the summer, but he tore his hamstring in the final league match of last season against Fulham and did not play during preseason. The Frenchman is out of contract next summer, and although United have the option of an additional year, Marshall could be released if his stagnation continues. Again and again, Dimitar Berbatov tells Jaden Sancho how Sir Alex Ferguson would have dealt with him. Man United winger. Jaden Sancho will not take part in first-team training until further notice after calling out Eric Ten Hag. Dimitar Berbatov believes Sir Alex Ferguson would have made the same decision as Eric Ten Hag after the manager removed Jaden Sancho from the first team. Sancho caused a storm following United's 3-1 defeat to Arsenal before the international break after he publicly challenged Ten Hag. The manager said he left the winger at home due to poor performances in training, which Sancho disagreed with in a now deleted tweet saying he would not be made a scapegoat. It was announced on Thursday that Sancho will train individually for an indefinite period of time and won't be available for selection. It's a decision that former striker Berbatov backs and believes legendary manager Ferguson would as well. I will not be surprised if Sancho struggles to get game time for United from here, Berbatov told Betfair. Players sometimes think they are really important and they can change something when they speak publicly. In reality, they only make the situation worse. In this case, I did not like what happened, and Sancho should have gone directly to Eric Ten Hag and spoken to him man to man. Things could go either way now.
If the manager likes you as a player, even if you make mistakes along the way, it will be easier for him to forgive you, keep you around, and continue to give you another chance. If he doesn't like you, then the situation becomes difficult. You will need to work even harder to get back into the team, again and again. Facundo Palistri can prove Paul Scholes right in Manchester United vs. Brighton. Man United could award Facundo Palistri his first-ever Premier League start against Brighton and Hove Albion. Following a turbulent international break, Manchester United will be itching to let the football do the talking once again come 3 p.m. on Saturday afternoon. United will resume their Premier League campaign at Old Trafford, welcoming Brighton and Hove Albion to M16 for what will be their third home game of the season. The Reds signed off for the recent pause with a 3-1 defeat to Arsenal at the Emirates Stadium, a juncture that marked the beginning of a period of negativity and uncertainty. Jaden Sancho's decision to hit back at Eric Ten Hag in a social media post after the defeat to the Londoners dominated the headlines for a few days, ahead of United confirming they had given Antony a leave of absence after allegations of abuse were made against the Brazilian. No time frame has been put on when he could return. Amid the ongoing uncertainty currently surrounding his future and the question marks surrounding Sancho's position in Ten Hag's thinking, the door has opened for Facundo Pellistri. With Ahmad still sidelined through injury, he is at the top of the pecking order for the right-wing spot. The 21-year-old, who played twice for Uruguay over the recent international break, has only made 12 appearances for United since arriving at Old Trafford almost three years ago. All of those 12 outings have been awarded to him by Ten Hag, but only one of them has come in the form of a start. The youngster's only start for United came back in March in the Europa League when he got the nod for the 1-0 win over Real Betis in the second leg of the club's last 16 tie. United were 4-1 up from the first leg, and Ten Hag made the decision to give the Uruguayan the chance to prove his worth. Just as he had in his previous cameo roles, Pellistri impacted proceedings positively, producing a forward-thinking, progressive performance. He, not for the first time, played with a sense of freedom, demonstrating traits that used to be associated with wingers in years gone by. Unlike Antony and Sancho, Pellistri prefers to go down the outside of his opposing fullback, beat him, and deliver a cross. Now that United have a physical and recognizable number nine in the center, the time could be right to unleash him. Again and again. Manchester United published an updates on Sancho case where they said that Jaden Sancho will remain on a personal training program away from the first team group, pending resolution of a squad discipline issue. So, Jaden Sancho will not take part in team training until further notice due to a squad discipline issue, the club said in a statement on Thursday afternoon.